Oh, David T, you guys there. Come on in the house today. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to my crib. Today, it's gonna feel like basically a little reality TV show on my life. And basically, what I'm gonna be taking you guys through today, show you my lifestyle, how I live as an athlete, as a coach, what I do with my sponsors on the call, on go, my training, nutrition. So, hey guys, come on in, come see the house. All right, guys, so basically right here, this is my living room where I kick it. Nothing too special. We don't really eat here. It's a dining room, kind of where we all just hang out. This is a living room. We don't do too much in here. I just stay working at the kitchen table. I don't have my own office, so I just work at the table and in the kitchen because you guys know I'm always eating, so that's what we're gonna do. Right now, I'm getting hungry. We're about to go work out, so let's go into the kitchen. All right guys, so now we made it into the part of the house where I get most of my work done. Like I said, nutrition is one of my main things I need to have hammered throughout the day. And now I mean, you guys know, sometimes you guys may see on my Instagram, my Snapchat, I do be eating some cereal, but most of the time, 50-50, I'm eating some good stuff. I'm not, in, I'm in off season right now, I'm not prepping exactly, so I'm having a little bit more life I'll take and being able to eat what I want. But today, I'm gonna give you guys an exact look at what my pre-workout entails, exact foods, why I'm eating it, and basically how you can input it and just track your macros in general. So now, moving into my pre-workout meal, exactly. You guys already know what you gotta have. You gotta have your lean protein source for your pre-workout, and then your good main starchy carb source. So right now, we just have working with lean chicken breast. Everybody uses chicken breast. There's lots of lean beefs. There's lots of lean meats that you can use for post and pre-workout. But the main thing about pre-workout meal, I wanna go into the gym feeling good. So I'm gonna have a low fat meal and a meal in foods that are gonna digest quickly and nothing digests more quickly than whole food. So I'm rocking with the chicken breast and I'm rocking with some white rice. Right here, you guys see? My food scale, I just pre-weighed them out, guys. Basic food scale. And if you guys don't have a food scale already, make sure you get one because you need to know how much food you're eating minimally. So right here, you have 10 ounces of chicken breast, and this is going to come out to around 84 grams of protein. So throughout the day, if I'm going to eat six times or if I'm going to eat four times, it all depends on what macros I'm going to hit in that exact meal. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is going to be around 85 grams of protein in my pre-workout meal. And then right here, I have around 10 ounces of rice, and this is also gonna be around 85 grams of carbs. So, I'm doing this pre and post. I'll eat the same thing around post-workout. You guys will see that, but we will be on the go at a restaurant. So, I'm gonna show you guys kind of the flexible lifestyle of dieting in off-season because I'm not in prep, because in prep, I can't eat anything that's not off my own scale. But we're gonna guesstimate. I'm gonna show you guys how you can live a healthy lifestyle on the go. Let's get cooking. So now, as you guys see, I'm not just warming up my food in the microwave. It tastes way better, and that's the thing about dieting. People will just do the microwave food, and this way, I'll literally take my food, as you can see, I have it on a pan right here, and I'll steam it and warm it up a bit, and it'll taste much better. But I'm about to use some salt. I'm gonna load up sodium pre-workout so that I'll have an awesome pump, and then I'm gonna use some adobo. It's all-purpose seasoning. No carb in it, super healthy. I'm just gonna load up this. Always before a workout, you're gonna want high sodium just so that you gotta get those pumps, bro. And it's not like I'm gonna have a Pop-Tart, no Pop-Tart pump today. So I'm just gonna sodium load. It'll make things much better tasting. All right guys, so the food is coming to a finish right now. So I just heated it up. And it's like, like I said, this is gonna taste much better than just doing the basic old microwave. And it just cooks everything fresh and it tastes like you, it's coming off the pan and set up a microwave. It crisps up the food a little, the chicken tastes a lot better. And the rice, it even has a little crisp, little bite to it. So it's just the little things. It's literally the little things when it comes to dieting that will take you a such long way. No one likes eating dry chicken because it sucks. So if you can find a way to make it juicy and taste good and have a little bit of both, it'll make a world of a difference. And with this being said, if you guys want to see more of like what I'll be eating and stuff like that, comment below if you guys want to see a full day of eating, full day of bulking, something specific in the Masthetic series, let us know in the comment section. So now I'm going to take my food out to my favorite place to hang out. 
at my house. Guys, we're gonna go in the backyard. I just got done redoing the backyard. I got some new furniture. Put up a big new patio, and the house looks awesome right now, so I love being able to relax out here. Come on, I'm gonna show you guys outside. I got little doggies, check them out. Do you guys wanna go outside with me? Let's go, come on. So basically, this is it. I like to hang out here in the morning after I do my cardio. Me and my little dogs will just come and hang out. We'll eat food and I'll just relax because half the time after I do my cardio in the morning, I'll be just super dead. So I'll sit here, I'll call my clients and just talk to everybody, do stuff I need to do for the day. But yeah, it's just nice out because it's finally warm in Chicago and if it's any time, it's over 20 degrees, it feels amazing. So I just like to kick it out here and relax and eat. So how's everything going with the new diet and all? Um, good, you know, just I'm feeling good all the time. Training good. Yeah, <laughs> that's my boy. You're always positive, like you're always positive, so we keep that shit going all the time, you know. Got you, brother. Boy, after eating 10 ounces of chicken and 10 ounces of rice, I'm full. So I just kicked it out there and relaxed, hung out with my boy Greg. But now, it's coming time to work out. And right now we're gonna be going to a gym that's a little bit further than my house. So whenever I'm traveling, I always have to pre-pack my protein, my isolate whey protein immediately after my workout so that I can have it. I don't wanna go a while without having anything and it's just quick digestion. So I'm gonna show you guys some supplements I'll be taking right now. All right guys, so starting off, basically my pre-workout, I'm using CEO Boss. Everyone is constantly always asking what pre-workout, what protein, what supplements I'm using in general. If you guys follow my Instagram, boom, it's gonna be right here. Make sure to hit that follow button, turn on post notifications, because my stories, I'm posting everything all day, so you guys will see exactly what I'm taking. I post it all the time. Even there's a highlight section on my IG where you can see that. But right now, rocking with Boss pre-workout. It's one of my favorite pre-workouts because one, it has insane pumpio formula in it, and I don't like getting crazy whacked out on caffeine, so it doesn't have that much caffeine. It has eight grams of citrulline malate, and what citrulline malate does, it's basically nitric oxide, so it fuels the pump insanely, and like I said on my pre-workout meal, I already salt loaded it, so um, the pump's gonna be crazy regardless. So double that, it's insane. And then I'm gonna use one scoop of branched-chain amino acids. I like to use this because it has carbs in it, so basically, I'm using intracarbs, therefore, it'll replenish my glycogen after I'm depleting it during my workout. It'll keep me a better pump, and guys, I'm crazy for the freaking pump, because you know why? The pump feels like sex. It feels like I'm coming. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's gonna wrap that up for my crew workout. Basically, blend and send it once I get to the gym, and then I'll show you guys my post-workout nutrition right now. All right guys, so now I'm moving on to my post-nutrition workout. Many people think that when they just put a scoop of protein, that's what they're getting, guys. Make sure when you're putting in your protein, for example, I'm using Diamond Pure by CEO. Guys, this is insane, like I'm not kidding. Like usually, like most people promote brands even if they don't like it, but I'm like 100% not lying. The flavors on this brand are legit insane. This one is Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal and you can literally taste the Cinnamon Toast Crunch because it has pieces of cinnamon toast crush in it. And it's just like, unreal. But like I'm saying, if you're using this, make sure you weigh out your protein. So I have my scale right here, and it says 30 grams is one scoop. So I'm always weighing it out just to double check that I'm getting the right amount. Now I'm gonna go two scoops, so it's gonna equal out to 60. Boom, so just make sure you're accurately getting the amount of protein you need because like I said, if you're just throwing it around, it's not always gonna be correct. All right, so besides the protein, right after we're at my workout, I'm gonna use my five grams of creatine monohydrate. Everyone always asks what creatine or what brand. To be honest, the brand doesn't matter. As long as you're getting CEO, like monohydrate, that's what I use personally, you can get this huge tub. How many servings is it? 200 servings, $15. So the link in the description will be for all these products. You guys can actually look up my stacks on the website. It says Joe's Bulking Stack, Joe's Cutting Stacks, all the products I use, all the products that were in the cabinet, they were all will be right here with the link in the description. You guys use my code WOX20, check it out. But yeah, five grams of creatine, two scoops of protein, and that's gonna be my post-workout nutrition. I'll take in a little Ziploc baggie, and then we will head out to the gym. But yeah, 
All right, guys, like I said, put it in your pre-workout baggie, and now dump it in there, and then right after your workout, you'll have your blender. Blend it up. Like I said, this isolate, it mixes like that, so you don't even need too much water. The flavor is going to be right on perfect, and it dissolves so easily, so you don't got to worry about, like, if it's a casing, it'll be thicker, but this will literally go like that. That wraps up my nutrition and my pre-workout regimen. So now we're gonna have to the gym and smash this back for a back workout. We will see you guys in the gym and I'll explain all the exercises. So catch you then. Still eating like hell, and I'm still tired as hell. Motherfucker. <laughs> As you know, I am thick, thick, but I'm gonna keep it real. Show you guys a little physique update. Hit some poses. Alright guys, so that's gonna bring episode one to an end. I am legit so full right now. Food baby. <laughs> Just went out to eat with my boy, my roommate from Michigan. Where is he at? Right here. Came out to eat with me, my friend Chloe, and then of course Greg, the videographer behind this whole video that put this together. Shout out to Greg, did an amazing job. But yeah, we just went out to eat. Hope the workout was well, and you guys got a taste of what these episodes are gonna be like. We have many more coming. If you guys want me to talk about a certain topic, or like highlight something specific about training or nutrition or just anything in general, comment below, we'll do that in the next episode. Episodes coming weekly, so stay tuned. Leave a like if you enjoy, show your friend, show your grandma, it's your boy. I'm out, peace.